Do you know that really bad feeling when you're high up on scaffolding and you break a block and it, the item falls? Well, after watching Modded, I saw some magnets and wanted to replicate that in vanilla. I contacted my friend Yuta, who then made me the command blocks necessary for the magnet. As you can see, if we just spread out these items, we can select the magnet and it will draw the items in a radius of 8 blocks into my character, just like this, and then we pick them up. We can repeat this, but this time we spread out the items as the last time, and now use the magnet in the offhand, and as you can see, it will still pick up the blocks in a 8 block radius. It also does some effects, uh, but these can be disabled if you want. And now let's get on to building it. First, we are going to need to give ourselves the magnet, and for that we are go just going to paste the last command in the description down below and hit enter. Now I'm going to do that, just like this. And now I've got the magnet, as you can see right here. And we can also set up a command block for that, so just place a normal command block, then a button on, on the side, or better yet, right here. And then just paste it in with a control V, uh, and you have to copy it beforehand. But after that, we're going to now place in a repeating command block facing up, which is unconditional and needs redstone to be powered and to be active. We then have to simply paste in the first command you'll find in the description. And these will be labeled with a repeating command block and a repeating command block. And now we can paste them in the first one and place a lever to activate it. Above that, we need a chain of three repeating command blocks, just like this, not repeating, but chain, uh, excuse me, just like this. And these have to be always active and unconditional, but a chain right here. Then we're just going to paste in the commands in order. So first up, we're going to use this one, and this is going to create our particle. Then we're going to insert the second one and you can uh, simply do that right here and now the third one. And in these we are going to uh, decrease or increase the rate so we can do that by simply going into the second one and then configuring R is equal to and then we can just type in our number so for example we can type in 1000 and this is going to get a 1000 block radius so if i get out some blocks you can see it's much further away than last time and it will still draw it and right here we have a command block that is going to get ours from uh, 71 on the uh, z axis to 1071 and here we can drop some cobble go back and I'll go back here and as you can see if we're in range we're going to pick it up right here and we can also uh, do other things we can for example change the particle effect right here by simply Putting in something else for the rich magic, I will highlight right here. If you want to have the magnet active when it's in the offhand and not only when it's in the main hand, we're going to use the same setup just like this, and I'm just going to copy the commands with a uh, control A and then, uh, or like this, I'm going to. Control A to select all, then Control C to copy, and Control V to paste, just like this. And that was a little bit strange. But now we are finished, and all of these should have commands in them. And now we're going to 
change where it's going to look for the magnet and right now it's selected a item so that's what item you have selected a, a little bit self-explanatory there but we're going to use inventory just like this and then get a square bracket and before the id we're going to put slot and then the number of your slot in the inventory and for the offhand it's minus 106b and then a comma behind that but this is going to depend on which slot you're going to want to check and i'll link a photo or image where that's explained which slot is uh, corresponding to which slot in the inventory or what number is uh, corresponding to which slot and then we're just going to put the end of the square bracket right here and now if we power it we're going to see it's in the main hand and also in the offhand and we're going it's going to be drawn to us just like this well sadly that concludes today's video but you can check out my other videos if you want more content. If you've enjoyed, make sure to support the channel. But anyway, I hope to see you all in the next one.